Hi, there's Life Prepper here. Now, here's the simple question. Are we being programmed to give up on ourselves? I mean, think about it. You see all this stuff on TV. You see shows talking about cheating on one another. You see shows talking about uh, this, the pill popping syndrome, getting prescription drugs. You see issues about the weed or whatever, then you see people just being put in their little categories and they just stay there. They just uh, do what they do, you know, they have to pin on the government for food stamps. Then they go to these charity events, get food, and I'm, I've done it. I've gotten food, I've gotten food stamps, I had to have them. But I watch people. And I watch them, and they come in with uh, clothes that should have been thrown away. They come in with uh, clothes that they've had for years because they can't afford to buy clothes. By the time they pay their rent and their lights and their water, they have nothing left. I mean, they just don't. They work two or three part-time jobs now because most jobs you have to go through a temp service to get a job. So there's no guarantee. And if you begin to have uh, health issues or any kind of body parts replaced, then you can't do some of the work you used to be able to do. So you, you have to turn around and end up in a lot of minimum wage jobs unless you're lucky enough to work a job where you can have a decent paycheck, but nothing is no guarantee anymore. It's no guarantee that you're going to be 30 years at a job. It's just not guaranteed. So, I would be in program to basically give up. I mean, think about about it. I mean, just sit back and watch people. Watch people when you watch them walking across the streets. You see. They coming into the places. Uh, watch them in the stores when they come into these stores at the first of the month. I mean, they come out of the woodwork. First of the month, they're out of the woodwork. They got their checks. They're they've just gotten in that lifestyle. I mean, they just have. By my, they're in that lifestyle. They don't feel the need to do anything else than what they're doing. One day I went to get some food that I needed and I'm listening to them talk about the party they had the night before. Doesn't work. They're standing up there waiting. They draw numbers, see who gets the bread and whatever. And I'm like, really? Is that what they're doing? I'm, I mean, I've never done it before. And I didn't want to need no bread. I was content to get my little box of food and go home. So I'm listening to them talk about the party they had the night before. So the money that the government's giving them, they're spending it on liquor or whatever. Then they're up there in line for the food. So basically, they've been programmed to continue to live like that, and their children will live like that, and their grandchildren will live like that, unless someone decides they want to do something different. So. Do you think, I mean, really, honestly, do you think we are being programmed to give up, to settle for what we got? I mean, really, I mean, do you think that? And so it's, it's a big question. Do you think we're being programmed to give up and not resist and count on everybody else to take care of what we've got to take care of? I mean, it's, it's a big question when you think about that. It's live prayer for here. I want you to be safe, be happy. Bless you all.